Welcome everyone once again back to Sonic Frontiers. Update 2 for Sonic Frontiers just recently came out a couple of nights ago and with it came along what is shown here on the screen. Action Chain Challenge, a new Coco, birthday decorations because Sonic's birthday is June 23rd. At the time of recording it is pat right past midnight of June 26th. Other than that you also have a status map which I don't know what that means but another one new game plus was added into this so that's a bit of an excitement and let's not forget the spin dash makes a return once again Stage records in Cyberspace Challenge and Arcade Mode can now be deleted. The tower difficulty on Rhea Island has The Tower difficulty on Rhea Island has been reduced for easy mode. Additional songs added to the jukebox. Yes! Additional options. The rate of deceleration when jumping, the deceleration rate when stopping, maintenance. Uh, maintaining a boost when jumping and battle skill camera can now be set in options game settings. The cyberspace background music changes with boost can now be toggled in options sound. When the following. What? When the following time saving actions are used in cyberspace, colored marks will now appear in the results. Homing dash, white, spin dash, red, change in deceleration rate when jumping, yellow, cyberspace, power boost, blue. New game plus will unlock once the game has been cleared, which I have cleared it twice already. In new game plus, Sonic skills and stats will carry over, but items will not. Apply the birthday. Yes. Apply the birthday decorations. I would love to see them. Coco appearance. Default springtime Coco. Coco party outfit. Let me see that. Friends outfits. Even the friends have party outfits? Oh. Damn. Adventure gloves and shoot. Right below. Da -da. Holiday cheer suit. Sonic's birthday party outfit. Let me see that. Outfits will not be reflected in certain cutscenes. Uh, okay. Happy birthday, Sonic. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I'm also excited they've added more songs to the jukebox. Oh, I need to be extra... Uh, cautious about where I can. F what is this music? Oh, this <laughs> it's playing Happy Birthday to you, Sonic. Action change. Begin an action chain challenge by using Psy Loop on the start mark. Within the time limit, chain together multiple actions and objects to fill the chain gauge. Each time the chain gauge fills up, the score multiplier will increase. Once an action or object is used, it will not fill the gauge again for some time. Okay. What is this music? This sounds like something from Sonic CD. There's a new species of Coco hidden across the islands. The new Coco is so rare that it accounts for several regular Coco. If you take them to Elder Coco, he will power up your boost gauge as a reward. So wait, it's kind of like if with Breath of the Wild, if I uh, increase like increase the stamina vessel. What? Okay, first and foremost, did they add in the thing? There's a. Okay, there's. Tag on here for action change challenge. Side story, Elder Coco. Coco. New Coco. <gasps> they added in! Yes! Okay, so there's one over here. 
There's one here, and there's one here. Found memory, fishing spot, castle mobile, guardian, memory token, island mystery, challenge, portal. Okay. Oh, look at that on the left side. Okay. Guardians and... Eh. Do that later. Let's go to Kronos Island, because we can potentially try to... I want to... Figure out what the songs are first for Kronos Island before I start up the uh, before I start up the action change challenge. Okay. Well, I mean, there's one right here, so I guess I can go ahead and do that one. Oh, the Starfall? Oh, fuck you. It's a good thing I turned off that slot machine. Do I have to use Psyloop on this thing? Oh boy. Finished. Bro, that's difficult. What in the world? Okay, I guess I'll focus on those later. There's a new Coco here. So I think I'll just go ahead and fast travel to this portal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered that Sonic. Uh, what's the zoom again? I forget. Oh, zoom. Oh, look at Sonic. Damn. Okay. Yep. So there's a new Coco over here. Uh... Oh. I forget how to get up there. Oh wait, never mind, I remember. Right? Uh, pro wait, probably not. Damn! All the rings are changed into, like, hearts. Oh, that's cool. This actually does sound like something from Sonic CD. What the hell? If I'm not mistaken, it sounds almost like... Uh, I don't know why it's giving me Quartz... Uh, what's it called again? The Quartz Quadrant or something? That was the... Uh, that was the new Coco, I think, that I just grabbed. Oh, there's a music note over here.
Okay. What's the new sound? They added in some of the Sonic Frontier soundtrack to the jukebox. Wow. Okay. That's good. Up there? How do I get up there? Wait. Oh, wait. Other Coco. Boost gauge raised. <laughs> I was right. It is like how it is in Breath of the Wild. You got that small little extra piece. Okay. Actually, I think for now I'll just focus on, uh, I'll just focus on the memory tokens because those are pretty much more exciting to me than the Coco, like the new Cocos and the, uh, chain challenges. Most, more than likely, I'll probably end up doing the chain challenges off camera because from what I just experienced from that first one, it's going to take a long time for me to figure out the movement for that. So, memory tokens for this one. Kronos Island third movement, okay. <clears throat> oh, there's only three more. What all did they do for this? Wait. Well, they only added in three, uh, what's that? They only added in five songs from Kronos Island into this. Oh. There's the fourth movement. Now, for... For the ones that have not played Sonic Frontiers before, basically it's different number of movements depending on how many Chaos Emeralds you would have in your inventory at the moment. So, like, Kronos Island first movement, that was when you had zero Chaos Emeralds. Then the, then the third movement was after you have two uh, Chaos Emeralds in your inventory, then you have the fourth movement when you get the third one. What is this one? It's movement, okay. I don't like the fact that they didn't add too much uh, memory tokens onto Chronos Island, but I guess that's how it's going to be. Because that was actually one thing that I said uh, in my Sonic Frontiers idea for update 2. I did say they I did say that they should update the jukebox. I'm glad that they did. So it gives me a better chance to it gives me a much better chance to enjoy the music even more. Why is it on there? Okay, do that.
second movement. <sighs> really? No more memory tokens on Kronos. They didn't add in uh, Undefeatable, which... Honestly, the way I see it, I think that's somewhat okay with me because... Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll add in the Titan themes to the jukebox for update three. But other than that, the fact that they even updated the jukebox at all is a blessing to me. Let's see, sound memory. There's one over here. One, two, three. Four. There's four on Ares. No, I don't care for you. Shark. Eh. See ya. Over here. Oh, purple coins. What do you got? Eddie's Island first movement. Okay. Solid start for that one. Uh, let's highlight that one and then we'll fast travel to the portal that's right over here. I just realized, is that... Is that, uh, that sound memory, I think that's in the, uh, the oasis that I drained. Yep, I was right. Second movement. Okay. I really wish I could uh, unlock the spin dash right now, but apparently I need to, from what I read online, I was spoiled about it. Apparently I need to F-Strink all of the chain attack challenges. That's right, F-Strink. I was struggling with that first one just to get it off a D. It is all the way over here. Where's this thing at? On top? No, 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 no. Find a way up. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. I'm up. I just realized the springs are cupcakes. <laughs> I'm love I love the design for these decorations. Third movement. Wait, was it four or five? Oh, wait, they probably did five. So, next one's over here. What's the closest fast travel to that one? Ah, uh, that would be Elder Coco, so nope. There's no way for me to fast travel directly to it, unfortunately. I need a more motivational song for this one. Uh, where is it at? Ah, there it is.
can never get... Hey, you can never go wrong with Sonic Unleashed, that's for sure. Oh, it's here! Oh, it's probably on the top one. So it's probably on the top piece. Yep, there it is. The fifth movement. Okay. And the next, the next and basically the last sound memory would be this one over here. And the closest fast travel to it is, oh, there's a portal over here. There. Uh oh, 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 oh. Wait a second. Um Oh Jesus. Forgot about those things being there. Oh, I passed it. Oh, it's on the top piece. Damn it. Okay. Into the water. Oh, you're joking me. I just realized those balloons were shaped like Amy Rose. I hate the fact that I keep getting uh, the skill points unintentionally and I have like 842. I wish there was a, some way for me to get rid of those. Trying to be sneaky about this. Oh boy.
There it is. Okay. So that's all five of the memory tokens on... Yeah, all five of the sound memory tokens on Erdes Island. <clears throat> so it looks like now I have to go to... Uh, looks like now I have to go... The Chaos Island. Oh boy. <sighs> I'm not looking for. I am not looking forward to this one at all. All right, let's see it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So it looks like there's five here as well. I'm guessing that's just going to be. Chaos Island movements one through five. Let's start with the easy one, which is this one right here. Because I can just fast travel to fishing spot down here. Yep. We're on cat we're on Chaos Island. Give me a good song to play with it. Red Mountain. Bit movement, okay. Also a new Coco over here. I'll deal with the new Cocos later. I think right now I'm pretty much just solely focused on uh, the memory tokens. Hmm. This was a barrel. This was a barrel, and now it's Dr. Eggman? That's funny. Okay. Nice job, Sega. There's the second movement. I go here. Uh, actually, let's... Oh, sweet lord of mercy. I just realized where that, uh, freaking found memory is at. No. I see it. I see it. And the question is, how do I get it? Okay. I'll try going for another one. I don't know how... Wait, did I grab it and I didn't realize it? What? 
Okay. Guess I might have grabbed it and I didn't realize it. I, I'm, I'm dumb as a rock. That's the fourth movement. Spider. I don't know. I still don't understand why people hate the spider guardian fight so much. I love it. Plus, when you're uh, free falling from the sky, it get it's a perfect opportunity for you to use the photo mode. Where's this one? Oh. It's on that big one over there. First movement. Looks like the last one's over here, so I forgot to mark it. Fast travel. Closest one would have to be this. Okay, so far from Kronos Island, Erdis Island, and uh, Chaos Island, the sound memories have just been nothing but their island movements. If they added more music note uh, sound memory tokens to Rhea Island, I'd be surprised if it's not the Titan themes, but I highly doubt that would be the case. And for Oranos Island, I know for a fact that's probably going to be the Oranos Island movements as well. But I'm at least still happy that they updated the jukebox in a sense. Wait. They... Oh. They updated the jukebox. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Filter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, at least they did an eighth filter to celebrate Sonic's birthday, but other than that, they still have the original eight filters for the camera. Eh. Nice to see that they added something new to the camera mode. Because that was definitely needed. And the third movement. Okay. That should have been... Yeah, that's all the sound memory tokens for Chaos Island. At minus X. Now, I'm going to double check Raya Island just in case. Because I don't know if they would have probably added in sound memory tokens to Raya Island or not. But it's always best to double check and make sure. <gasps> they did. They added in four. They added in four uh, sound memory tokens for Raya Island. What are they? What are they? What are they? What are they? Where's this one? Over here? Over here? Here, 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 here. What is it? 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 What 
first one out of four. Eh. I mean, at least it's got a nice sound, so that's a plus. Because Raya Island didn't really have any movements to it. It was just the same sound, uh, the same music, no matter how many towers you turned off. Uh, what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. So I think it's up here. Yeah, here it is. What is this one? Sixth movement for Chaos Island? Okay, Sega, you're starting to let me down. The first... When you originally added in the jukebox and you added in all those great soundtracks from past Sonic games brought a lot of nostalgia back to me, that was a W. But with these island movements being updated to the jukebox, I don't know. I was expecting the Titan themes. Like, undefeatable... Break through it all, find your flame. Heck, I would have been happy if I could listen to One Way Dream while I was adventuring the island. Sega. Where exactly is this one? Uh, top of this formation. Chronos Island, sixth movement. The one that was sounding suspenseful. Which means this one right here is probably going to be Eris Island, sixth movement. Keep in mind, I'm saying sixth. Okay. My speech probably still sounds weird because I have the lisp. I have a chipped tooth, remember? Damn. I still need I still need to wait and hear back from the nurses to see if I can make an appointment with my dentist. Or if they're gonna make refer to me to a dentist or something, I don't know. Eris Island, sixth movement. Okay. And now on to Oranos Island. Kind of surprised the Guardian's icon for Arenos Island isn't golden. I mean, it's understandable for the memory tokens, but the Guardians? I fought the Guardians, even Ghost. I was wondering, like, I already hear something. Oranos Island. Wait, was Oranos Island the same music, the same uh, music score throughout the entire time? I thought it had different movements. There's four more, so I don't exactly. There's four more sound memory tokens left. I don't know what all. This would be. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think these are probably gonna be like the Kronos Island, like seventh movement, Air Design and Seventh Movement, all of them. So I think these four are gonna be like the seventh movement for the other islands. But that brings the question, what would the fourth music note be as well? Uh
Arity's Island 7th movement. Okay. Found memory. Okay. Wait. There is a music note hidden behind here. I said it in my video that if they were to add in a music note and put it in this specific location, they ought to do it for One Way Dream. Now, seeing as how the Jukebox update has gone so far, I highly doubt it's One Way Dream, but I'm still hoping, fingers crossed, that it is. If not, then I'm going to be very upset. Theme of Starfall Islands? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh. I'm here. Yeah, it's ironic the soundtrack for Chaos Island 7 movement was in water. And last but not least, this sound memory is the last official one. And if my assumption is correct, we've already found one for Eris Island and Chaos Island. So that means this sound memory is going to end up being the one for Kronos Island 7th movement. Where is it at? Over here? Not letting it happen again. Oh, that was random. Oh, oh. Yep, there it is. <sighs> you know what? The jukebox update didn't uh, come out the way that I was hoping it would. But I'm at least happy they updated it in general. So we have more music to listen to in the music box. And all of them are yeah, all of these are like path like located right before the default. So like if you were to keep scrolling down, you'd see the Reach for the Stars recolors, Asteroid Coaster remix, then you get to the island movements. Then you have Rhea Island, Oranos Island, Theme of Starfall Islands. And of course I'm here is listed first in the jukebox. Now, if they plan to update the jukebox again for update three, I'd be happy if they could, uh, if they end up including the Titan themes, Undefeatable, Breakthrough It All, and Find Your Flame, as well as adding in the, uh, the two, two of the credits themes, Dear Father and One Way Dream. Uh, I would say they could add in Vandalize, but I'm hoping they don't because of copyright stuff. But other than that, the jukebox came out beautifully. The decorations and everything for Sonic's birthday looks phenomenal. The, the main big challenge for me is going to be 
uh, doing those chain attack challenges. So, and then I have to S rank every single one to unlock the spin dash. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. 